I'm working on a presentation for my job at the High Tech Technology Center. I know the topics I want to cover in the presentation, so I've already inserted slides for each area I want to talk about. Right now, I want to edit the title slide so it will really get the audience's attention. I think I'll apply a word art style to this text. Word art is a feature in Word and PowerPoint that allows the user to create stylized text with textures, shadows, outlines, and more. To apply a word art style, just select the text box and then click the format tab that appears. You can see the group of word art styles. Now select the text and hover over the word art styles to see a live preview on the slide. You can click the down arrow to see more. Or click the more arrow to see all the possible styles. Here, I'll try this one. Just click it to select it. You have the option of changing the fill color. Just click the command and hover over the color options to see a live preview on the slide. You could choose a fill color that matches and looks good, or a color that doesn't quite look right. You can also use no fill or access more colors than the ones above. You can use a picture on your computer to fill the text, a gradient like these, or a texture option. When you find one you like, just click it to select it. If you want to change the text outline, just click the command to see color options for the outline. You'll see that in addition to the outline color, you can change the weight or the width of the outline and even the style of the line. When you see a color you like, just select it. You've probably noticed by now that you can make a word art that looks nice and professional or you can choose from a wide variety of colors and end up with something that doesn't look very good. Like my title slide. Let's go back to word art styles and choose a different one. Let's see. I like this one. It's pretty simple. Now before we finish, let me show you one other word art command called text effects. Just click the command and you'll see a wide variety of options. You can add shadows to your text, some of which are subtle, or you can add a reflection of the text. This word art style already has a reflection, so we don't need those. You can add a simple glow to the text. or a really bright glow. You have bevel options that modify the text and some 3D options also. Finally, you have some transform options that transform the text in some interesting ways. This is what most people think about when they think of word art. You want to be careful when you create your slides. Some of these transform options are really fun looking, but I don't think they help my title slide look very professional, so I'll just skip these. As you can see, word art really helps me format the text on my title slide. Just remember when you work with word art that just because you can format text in a certain way doesn't mean you should. Imagine if I had used the transform, 3D, and glow options. I might have ended up with a title slide like this. Or like this one. But I'm happy with how this looks. Now I'd like to show you how to insert a shape in PowerPoint. There are many times when you will use shapes as you create various slides. Here on this title slide, I'd like to add a star between the words high and tech since our company logo uses a star. On the home tab, click the shapes command to display a menu of shape options. We have everything from basic shapes to math signs. I'll just click the shape I want to insert, and as I move the cursor toward the slide, it changes to a cross. When I reach the location I want to insert the shape, 
I'll click and hold down the mouse button and drag the cursor until the star is the right size. And then I'll release the button. After I insert the shape, I can see that a format tab has appeared on the ribbon. I can select it and see a variety of formatting options. In the Shapes Style group, I have some options for formatting the shape. I can hover over each style to see a live preview of it and click the More arrow to see all the style options. Here. I like this one, so I'll just click it to select it. I can also change the shape fill color by clicking the command and choosing an option, or I can change the shape outline. These commands work the same way as the fill colors and outline colors do in word art styles. You can also apply a shape effect. This menu should look pretty familiar to you. I want a glow option so I'll select it and then click an option to choose one of the glow effects. There. That looks good. Now, I just need to select the text box and add a few extra spaces between the words. I'll just click and drag the star to the desired location. Yeah, right here between the words. Now, I can resize and move the shape just like I do text boxes and pictures. You may have noticed that there's an insert shapes group right here on the format tab. You can use this group to insert a shape if the format tab is already available. It may save you a bit of time because you don't have to go to the shapes command on the home tab, but the shape options are the same in both places. Also from this group, you can add a text box inside a shape and add text if the shape is large enough. Word art and shapes are two very different features, but you can see here how both can be used together or separately to allow you to create effective slides. Now you give it a try. Like what you just saw? Rate it. Add a comment. Subscribe to our channel. The freedom to learn. What you want, when you want. Absolutely free. GCF, learnfree.org.